Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today we are moving out of Far Future and moving into whatever is next. It looks like it is going to be the Dark Ages, our first level with four out of five difficulty. It is just gonna get more and more difficult from here on out. But we really are starting to make our way through the majority of these worlds. It's really exciting, but now it is time for Dark Ages. And what do we got here? Dark Ages, bring out your undead to the year 948. Harvest mushrooms in the dark of night and get medieval on zombies from days of yore. So this one has a bunch of mushrooms. It looks like this is gonna be a nighttime level. That is super cool. So let's use our key and get started with Dark Ages. Look at that cool castle and everything. I'm super excited. We'll be able to check out a lot of cool new plants with this one. Definitely not as many plants as there were in Far Future, but definitely some cool stuff to get into. So let's get started with the first level. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm just, I'm really excited. So yeah, Dark Ages, here we go. Whoa there, who dimmed the lights? No one, user Dave. We have simply arrived in the Dark Ages. Sounds gloomy to me. Indeed, according to my research, a plague has swept the area. Also, sun no longer falls from the sky, uh-oh. What we need is someone to brighten up this, or brighten this place up. I got it, we need sun shrooms. These guys not only know how to turn a frown upside down, they make more sun th as they grow. Great, great guys, very talented. Alrighty, so, ooh, we got gravestones. Some of them give us sun, interesting. Oh, this is super cool. So we got ourselves a little sun shroom, so we probably don't need a sunflower. Probably just gonna leave that be. I might wanna start a little simple with like a potato mine or something. This is definitely interesting. Maybe we could try like a stunion. Obviously this will become a whole lot more clear on what we could do here once we get um, some, what's it called? Once we get some more mushrooms in here. But for right now, maybe we can do something like the repeater. And the Colonel Pole. Colonel Pole, I definitely should be using more. I think the Snapdragon, of course, being a dragon, sort of fits in with this kind of theme. Uh, I think that'd be fun. And we'll just do Wana. Nice and simple combo. We'll see how it goes. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Let's not be silly. I know I'm going to have to re listen to the cutscene again. I need to do Grave Buster. <laughs> what am I thinking? I've, I haven't used it since ancient Egypt because I haven't really had to. So this is out of sight, out of mind, I suppose. So let's try this again. Maybe instead of Stunion. <laughs> We'll just do this. It should work. It'll be fine. Yeah, that'll certainly be interesting. And let's get this started. So the sun shroom, we probably should have read the description of it, but I, I'm pretty sure it starts small, but starts growing larger over time. So yeah, that'll be interesting. And we'll be able to do that. As you can see, we get some sun from that, right? Yep, we get two suns. So that's definitely worth our while. I'm gonna set a potato mine up right there. And the moment these are available, I need to get rid of them so that we can get more sun. That is definitely interesting. I like that idea. Makes it even more worthwhile to get rid of gravestones. I mean, it already was just because they're in the way, but even more so now. Okay, got that set up. I'm gonna do two rows of sunshrooms. I don't know if it's worth it or not, but we might as well try. And as you can see, they are growing. I think they have three stages of growth. You know, the stage where they are when you first plant them, then they have the, in the middle stage, where some of them are on right now, and I think there's like a third final one. I think in PVZ one though, it was just two stages, like small and then bigger. Okay, so I wonder if that repeater destroys that one gravestone. Will that still give us the sun from it? I sure hope so. Let's get that there. I'm thinking a walnut here will be fine. They'll get to see the snapdragon. So that did give us the sun, very cool. I mean, I might want to make some room here. Might have been a bit of a mistake to put it so soon because I'm going to have to get rid of some sun shrooms to get the uh, kernel pulse out here. But hey, that's fine if that's what I need to do. I'll probably just move back that one walnut, though. Probably a smarter idea. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Whoopsies. There we go. So, there's so much going on here. It's great. I'll just do the kernel pulse there for now. Not necessarily how I envisioned it, but it'll work out for now. I'll get that going on. And that guy's a potato mine to deal with, so he's not too much of a worry for me. So as you can see, these sun shrooms are big. It'd be funny if they just continuously got bigger and bigger and bigger until they just take up the whole screen. I'm sort of glad that's not gonna happen, but it would be very interesting. And they give, what, 75 sun each now. That's crazy, super crazy. Let's get that there. Lots of zombies pouring in from all over the place now. I'm gonna get that guy there. 
I might have to do a little bit more to deal with that those zombies up there. No, we're fine. Okay, so we're about to deal with our first huge wave. I think we're coming up on the flag. Actually, there might not be a flag there. Hard to say, the zombie head's in the way. Let's do that. Get that stuff and the kernel pulp and everything. Okay, so yeah, this isn't turning out so bad. I will need a new wand up there. But overall, we're doing fine. Actually, it wasn't supposed to be a snapdragon. It was supposed to be a kernel pulp. Whoopsies. There we go. So I just need a wanna up top and then we'll be good. Got lots of cone heads. All right, just a little bit more with that walnut to be restored. And then I think we'll be pretty good. Like, I mean, we could get more set up here, but I don't think it's exactly necessary. There we go. So I'm just gonna sort of watch the fireworks here, I guess you could say. See what we might end up needing. For right now, I'm just trying to stay nice and prepared for the event of a bunch of zombies showing up like it is right here. So what I might do is that, and then also butter everybody, and then get that set up over here as well. See ya. Oh, there's more zombies pouring in. Let's just do this then. Got him. Excellent. So, the first day of, or I guess the first night of Dark Ages is, is complete, and because of that, we unlock a sunroom. Super duper cool. I feel like I'm gonna like this area a lot. So, there we go. Gives more sun over time, the sunroom. And as you can see, we unlock the sunroom. Cheap little sunrooms do something. We get 100 coins. We get two experience for the sunroom. That'll be two out of 10. And that's about it for there. But if we take a, take a look at the uh, world quests, unlock the puff room. How about a quick little shooter that costs zero sun? Puff room it is. Complete Dark Ages Day 2, which is exactly where we're going right now. So let's get to it and unlock the puff room. See how it looks like we're gonna unlock a couple mushrooms to start things off. There's not a ton of mushrooms it seems, but you know, I'm glad to find what we're finding. Um, so I don't know if this is the setup I actually want. I mean, actually, no, this is fine. Let's try it. So it looks like Crazy Dave and Penny don't have too much to say about it. Actually, hold on, Gray Buster, that's what I need. <laughs> I will permanently and always forget about the Gray Buster, apparently, at least on the first try run through. Okay, what can I put over? I don't think I need the Kernel Pult as much. We can do that, it should be fine. Because now we have some buffer. I mean, I probably don't even need the potato mine as much. Certainly some options I have. Now, I know one different, we experience this at some point, one difference is that these puff rooms don't stick around forever. If we put them, they have put this guy here. He will eventually disappear. So he's not as good as his PVZ1 counterpart where they would stick around forever. Their limit is that they have not much reach. Now these guys, they don't have much reach, but they also don't stick around forever. So it's just not so good in that regard. I'm gonna set a potato mine for one of these guys because they're coming in pretty quick. Especially since it seems like it takes more than one puff room to get rid of a zombie, this could be a bit of a problem. Let me set this up here. And then get rid of this. And that seems to be working. Get a puff room there as well. But as you can see, they slowly just sort of wear off. I mean, we haven't seen that yet. I guess all the zombies have been taking them out. That should be good. But I'm pretty sure they eventually disappear. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misinterpreted that one time we had it. But we'll just wait and see for now. I mean, actually, that one in front of the snapshot, I can look not so good. He looks a little pale. But that might be just because he got eaten by a zombie a little bit. Okay, let's get more uh, sun shrooms up. And ooh, plenty more sun gravestones are popping up too. Now the guy on the bottom is definitely looking a bit more pale now. Oh yeah, see he's disappearing. That's such a shame that it happens that way. I don't really see the necessariness of that. There we go. Got it. Okay, so we already got a couple of sun shroom. Not sun shroom, plant food. Of course we got sun shroom, but plant food is what I meant. Lots of stuff going on. I feel like this has so far been a pretty active world. We were constantly placing stuff down and trying to keep up with all the zombies. The zombies are pouring in quick. So I wonder how much of a hard time we really will have. Because I mean, some of these harder worlds, I've still been able to survive relatively well. Just by you know using plant food at the appropriate times and using power-ups and stuff when I need to. Okay, this guy's sort of a problem back here. You know what? Uh. I might have to try this out. <laughs> no, come on, that was so lame, I was pressing him, nothing happened. 
Ah, oh, that stinks. Come on. Uh, I don't think this is gonna hit him. Oh yeah, that's gonna miss. Oh, that is super frustrating. Cause I'm trying to get him. Just do this or something. He's the worst right now. Oh my gosh, I'm the one messing this up. Ah. <laughs> uh, if it worked the first time when I was doing the puff shroom, everything would have been fine. But no, I had to be silly. Okay, so let's go and do that. So we have plenty of repeaters we can put down and I'm definitely keen on doing so. At least some of our sun shrooms are growing. That's always good. Get that set up. Okay, I am tempted to use this right here. Not quite yet though, not quite yet. We got all the things we can do. How do they always get ahead down here? I don't understand. I gotta just set up more defenses, I suppose. There we go, we have another 200 sun right there. Okay, so this is the final wave right here, so I might as well do this. That's gonna get rid of those guys, and those guys, and we're good. <laughs> Alrighty, so day two is completed and with it we get ourselves the puff shrooms. So sun shroom and puff shrooms already unlocked here in the dark ages. They're definitely some cornerstone plants that you really need so it makes sense that we unlock them so quickly. And yeah, we're good to go. So let's see, uh, well first off the puff shroom. Short range shooter, lasts for a limited time. Definitely stink that they got downgraded from PVZ1 to PVZ2. But hey, what do we got here? This is 100 coins and Two more Sun Shroom experience, getting him at four out of 10, and two more for the Puff Shroom. Oh, okay, only needs three, so if we can get two more for him, we'll be good. And let's see what our next goal is. It is unlocking the Fume Shroom. Fume Shroom sprays all zombies in an area. Take that, clumps of zombies. Complete Dark Ages, day four. I would love to. Let's get to it, we're to do day three, and then day four. Doing everything in order, because we can't do it any other way. Okay, so lots of interesting stuff going on here. Honestly, tempted to keep the things exactly the same. It just works. Especially with, oh, that's a plant food gravestone. I like the idea of that. So I'll speed things up to start things off, but I do have to be a bit careful. And also just pay attention. Okay, so I can put this guy here and see how he does. And gravestone that. I mean, obviously we're not going to be able to, oh, not pausing, just trying to slow this down. We're not gonna be able to use that plant food right away, or at least it probably wouldn't be optimal to, to use it on a sun shroom that's tiny. Probably wanna use it on a bigger one. Let's do this. Oh, they rise out of the gravestone. That's actually problematic. Yeah, that's necromancy. Isn't, aren't all zombies necromancy? Or do zombies, you know, reborn, undead, you know? I don't know, <laughs> that just seems like an oxymoron. Interesting. Okay, so can this get him or no? Will it actually defeat the imp? It won't. I'm not being very nice right now. Come on, do this. Snapdragon, help me out. I know that's a pretty far back Snapdragon, so I'll probably move him around at some point. Also do this, and also do this. Oh, come on. Every time with you, dude. Here, yeah, just eat that sun shroom so I can hit you with this and hope it works. It doesn't work, gosh darn it. You are the worst sometimes. You know that? There we go. Okay, let's figure this out. I need to put some sun here. That puff shroom's disappearing, surprise, surprise. Let's do something like that up there. That might've been a little too far around, along. Okay. So I'm thinking we need to do Snapdragons up close like this and just get like a good defense going on as well. I mean, maybe, maybe I should have at least made two rows of Snapdragons. This has been really tough so far. Had to make a lot of quick decisions. It's not been easy. And we're just not getting as much sun as I need. Let me at least get that and put it there. It's not the best, but it's sort of the best I've got. Is it hitting him though? That one cone headed is. Okay, then that's really what I need. Let's do that for sure. Come on, sun shrooms. You guys can do it for me, I know you can. There we go. A little bit more. Okay, I'm sort of moving my iPad a little bit. Sorry if you're hearing shuffling. There we go. Sorry, I just, I'm sort of like at a weird angle. I sort of have to be to record while talking into the microphone and playing at the same time. It could be weird. Um, let's do that.
And I don't know what we're gonna be doing about this. Let me let me just put a puff from there while I'm waiting for the. Oh gosh, I'm just trying to stall this guy out a little bit. To the walnuts are available. Come on, come on, walnuts, come on! Puff shroom. There we go. We got him. That definitely stalled it out. I couldn't pick up any sun while I was doing that though, so that wasn't the best of opportunities there. Let's do something like that if I can manage. Might as well. There's so many gravestones. There's gonna be such a problem. I need to start getting rid of those. Okay, get rid of that. The, the last wave is coming up. I'm trying to be ready for it. I could at least do that. Yeah, also make sure that the uh, puff shrooms are available just to do something. And get more repeaters around here. Okay, here they all come. So this is where I can do this. That's not what I meant to do. It's fine. <laughs> I, I'm still sort of in survival mode from last episode and think that I, if I waste one plant food, it's sort of game over, but that's not really the case. Okay, so it's just this guy, so I should be able to do that and that should be just fine. And let's find out. Oh no, there's more. Oh, that wasn't the last huge wave. I'm a dingus. I thought the necromancy was the last huge wave. I was being very silly. So now I'm sort of in trouble, for real. <laughs> now I think I'll be fine. Um, Let's do this, actually, let's do it here, because there's way more bucket heads here. There we go, that got rid of a lot of them. I mean, there's still more I could be doing, for sure. Let's get that there. Okay, that should work. And we just sort of have to wait for him to be uh, pounded down a little bit, and there we go, night three completed. Not too bad, so we only got one more level left to go before we unlock the Gloom Shroom. Very nice, so 35 seed packets remaining for that mission. That's funny. Okay, so, we got that bag of coins and we are good to keep moving. So we're, we're making our way through these levels, not particularly speedily, but, but it's getting there, and that's what's important. Okay. But I, I really like uh, Dark Ages so far. Let me know your thoughts on this world. Of course, you guys are always free to let me know your thoughts and stuff. I haven't noticed the graves, not the gravestones, the uh, lawn mowers are like little, they're like sort of, yeah, I mean, they're lawn mowers. You push them and they cut the lawn, but they're definitely medieval. Oh, look at this, a hypno shroom. He's definitely a premium plant. That's sort of a shame, but I can't wait to try him at some point. Of course, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll try him right now, but I definitely want to showcase him. I want to showcase all the premium plants, but the hypno shroom's really cool because of course, uh, if you if a zombie eats that, they'll turn around and start eating other zombies. So you definitely wanna use that in like a gargantua or something. I don't know if that'll show up, but we can hope. So I definitely wanna try to, oh gosh, get rid of as many gravestones as possible, get a cabbage pole here, because I need to get rid of this guy in any way I can. There we go. Can I get one more cabbage pole? Nope, I get another hypno shroom. Ooh, I sort of wish I held on to my gravestone, or my grave busters. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm turning this guy around right away. There we go. Oh, this is sort of messy right now. Come on, can you get rid of that guy? You can't. That sort of stinks. I'm just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Okay. I'm just sort of waiting it out here. Definitely get some more plant food. I'm getting a lot of hypno shrooms. Like, they're great and all, but I wanted some other just like, you know, more attack-based plants. Okay, that's not really the best situation, but it's what I got. Uh, the thing that's not so helpful is that they actually have to attack through the gravestones. So that's not so easy. Okay, at least I got that. We need one more cabbage pole up on the top. Hopefully we get it soon, but for now, at least I can do this. What's also tough is one puff shroom can't even take out one zombie most of the time here. I mean, maybe if I put it far enough back, maybe that's my problem. Okay, yeah, I was able to get it that time. Never mind. So I still have three more hypno shrooms I could work with here. I'm tempted just to throw this on this guy nice and early, just that way. Because the more we damage him, the less he's gonna be able to put up against other zombies once we hypnotize him. So we wanna make sure that we hypnotize him right away. I don't have anything to bust that grave. We'll figure something out. Oh gosh. That zombie's close. Okay, we made it work. Uh, Get this guy. Slow these dudes down a little bit. There we go. Oh, not more necro necromancy. 
That's fine. Because we can do that. Okay. Lots of stuff going on. So I wonder what the plant food is like for the Hypnotrim. I'll try it. Or at least I'll try to see if I can't get that opportunity. If not, not too big of a deal because like I said, we'll eventually showcase all these plants. So we'll eventually get the opportunity to. Got it. And let's do this. Not bad. So that plant has, I mean that zombie has plant food. So let me go ahead and try this out now. What will that do? Maybe he's like super hypnotized? I have no clue. We'll find out. I mean, does he look any different than the normal? Yeah, he's like glowing and everything. Interesting. So let's try it here as well. Let's see what happens when this guy eats it. We well, become like super, wow, that is so cool. It becomes a gargantuar. Okay, uh, I got a problem going on over here. That is super duper awesome, I love it. Can you guys get rid of this or no? Hmm. Let me go ahead and do this then. Nice, get another plant food right after that. That is super duper cool. I'm just so happy about the giant gargantua running around now. Uh, I guess I gotta turn this guy around. I didn't want to, but I gotta. So is this the final wave? I guess it is. Not too scary. I'll go ahead and do another one of these. And another one of these. And I think we tried this. The thing about the puff shrooms is like everybody fires whenever you do that with the puff shrooms. That's always interesting. There we go. Okay, so I don't know if we'll get any more plants here. I don't know if we exactly need them. This Gargantuar is awesome. Who's having Gargantuars that are helping us out for once is amazing, but there we go, we unlocked the Gloom Shroom. That is absolutely amazing. We got the, or not the Gloom, the Fume Shroom. I've been saying Gloom Shroom, that's the upgrade to the Fume Shroom. Shoots fumes that can damage all zombies in an area. Very, very cool. We should be getting a reward for that, as you can see. Right there. This is 100 coins, two experience for the Fume Shroom, and another experience, I guess, for the Pop Shroom. We need one more before he gets leveled up, and a bonus five for whatever in the world that is, the Homing Thistle. Interesting. And we can see what our next objective is in the world quest. It is unlock Sunbeam. What if zombies spat out sun as they took damage? Sunbeam makes it happen. Complete Dark Ages, day six. Yeah, apparently when I use these guys in Lost City, I use them totally wrong. <laughs> Well, that's fine. We're gonna check them out in just a moment. Okay, so we got lots of options. I'm thinking, well, didn't mean to do that. Well, this actually create a power tile outside of, huh, interesting. I didn't know that would actually work. I'm not gonna do that right now, though. I'm gonna do Fume Shroom, which shoots fumes that can damage all zombies in an area. That's always gonna be good. So let's do Potato Mine, and you know, let's do Walnut as well. I feel like I wanna go classic, all PBZ1 plants only. <laughs> I don't think that's exactly necessary. We'll do Snapdragon too. Um, Where is he? He's right here. Yeah, let's try this out and see how it goes. It'll certainly be interesting, but mostly the same. I mean, we'll mostly just focus. Oh my gosh, I know what I forgot. <laughs> we could go all classic face. I'm gonna use a Grave Buster. Every time I forget this poor guy. I Maybe mean, that's why he looks so angry. He got his design change from PVZ1 to PVZ2. And now, now Zebra's forgetting to add him to the team. I'm so sorry. Okay, so. Let's do a bit of that and see how things go. For real this time. <laughs> as soon as the Grave Buster's ready, I'm gonna bust the Sun Graves, of course. And zombies are making their way in. I might as well do some Potato Mines while I have the chance, because they're more of a guarantee that the zombie will be taken down more than the Puff Shroom does. Even though we're going pretty speedy with this already. I can start doing the Fume Shrooms in just a moment. Just wanna make extra sure sort of the situation's good for it. I thought the, the zombies have been extra talkative lately. They just keep growling and snarling more often. There we go, not too bad. Do they still have a three block range? I think they do. Sort of hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure they do. So are Gloom Shrooms even in this game? I sure hope they are, because I mean, direct plant upgrades are not in this game. Of course, 
Uh, normally, you would need to upgrade to the Twin Sunflower by putting the Sunflower out in PvZ1. So I don't know how that works in this game. Um, I'll go ahead and put a Walnut here. That's not gonna be permanent. That's just because I didn't have good foresight. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Oh gosh, we got this guy! We ran into him once, and I've definitely seen him in PvZ Heroes. He throws stuff at the plants. I don't like it. He do, I mean, right now he's just turning like total tornado mode. I don't like that either. I don't know which one he's attacking, but we got rid of him, that's good. So let's do that and get this there. We're earning plenty of sun. Like that's, It's working out in that way for sure. I'm gonna gray bust that. Okay, we're making it happen at this rate. All I want, I want to see this right here. Whoa, it knocks them back and everything. That's super cool. And we should be able to do a cherry bomb with good reason. There we go. Ah, uh, maybe I should have waited a moment. Would have been great to get rid of these guys too. Oh well, they should be stopped by the walnut, right? I guess we're about to find out. Some of these guys, some of them are about to get taken out before they even start spinning. Yeah, like that guy. Wow, okay, that's great. Maybe could have done spike weed or something instead of cherry bomb. I mean, the cherry bomb's fine. I don't know why I'm thinking about changing it. Because now I can do this, get rid of all these guys or most of them. And that also destroyed the gravestones, it's perfect. I didn't realize it would do that. So that's a pretty effective way to get that done, actually. I feel like I should have done an extra row of uh, fume shrooms. I don't know if it would actually reach. I don't know if it's worth the risk at this point to get rid of a sun. I mean, uh, what else am I doing with the sun shrooms? Might as well try it. There we go. I mean, they restore fast enough, don't they? There we go. So will they actually reach? They will, okay. So that's worth it. Three rows of uh, fume shrooms are definitely worth it then. So what can I do here? This is the final wave, right? So I can cherry bomb this group and then do something like that, just push them way back. <laughs> All right, look at that, that was amazing. Fume shrooms know what they're doing. So we get another bag of money for that one. Because next next night we have um, another plant we're unlocking, I think. We'll find out, but yeah, the sun being in one level, very cool. But for right now, we got a bag of coins. So let's keep moving. I'm having a lot of fun with this world so far. I mean, it's tough for sure, but it's a lot of fun as well. So what is going on next here in day six? Plan your defense and defeat the zombies. I would love to. So does that mean I get a preset amount of sun? You bet it does. So I can't choose sun shrooms either, right? Yeah, not looking like it. Hmm, I can't choose puff shrooms either, no free plants. Man, that stinks when it comes to no grave busters. That makes this really challenging. Hmm, maybe some cheaper defense like that would be good. I could also consider lightning read. And EM peach, cause that would obviously be helpful. Um, I could, this is, I don't know if this works. Does this work? Why is this? No, okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> I had to check. That was such a bad idea, I guess. Um, so I'll just try for right now a whole row of these guys. Whole two rows of them. I can't really set everything up just yet, is the thing. I'm just gonna sort of have to work with this. And then I could, I, okay, so I could actually set up a, whole, a full set of uh, Colonel Pultz and one Walnut. I'm speeding things up, there's nothing to speed up yet. Okay, we'll see how that goes. It might be worthwhile, it might not be. It's a pretty simple setup, of course, but not a bad one. So what I'm gonna do is, as soon as I have the chance, I'm gonna get Colonel Pult there. Yeah, because I could have set up a couple Colonel Pults. I probably should have went ahead and did that, but I didn't. So this is the situation I'm in. Okay, just get another one. So yeah, we should be able to put all of them out. So I won't be able to do any of my cherry bombs or potato mines or any kind of backup strategy. Oh, I can do this now. Oh, so it does still work. But what panel it's gonna be might be a bit random is the thing. But that could still be well worth it. Oh, but now it costs 250. What? Oh, that's not fair, I didn't realize that. Oh, no, that's super expensive. Oh, well, <laughs> I thought it was always gonna be free. Oh, wow. That's sort of a shame. I'm, I'm disappointed now. 
So there's really not much we can do here. Just like be ready to use some plant food when we need it, but beyond that, kick back and relax. Gotta let these plants do their thing and hope they do it well, because if not, we're gonna have some big trouble. Okay, so far so good. We're not getting too lucky with butter. Like it's occasionally turning out pretty well. I like how we just have one useless panel now. <laughs> like it's not very useful if there's only one of them. I just didn't know it worked that way. We haven't used it until now. What is it called? I forgot. Something onion. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, for right now, or is it an on onion? I don't think it's an onion. I can't remember. <laughs> oh well. We're all three quarters of the way through here. I mean, it's not going perfect. But what's great about this plant, the, the, the fume shroom, is that it shoots through all the zombies. So, you know, two cone heads is the same as one cone head. Not very good for the zombies. I mean, of course, they eat th through things twice as fast, but that might not be an issue depending on the circumstance. Okay, come on, come on. So they sort of throw back projectiles, I noticed there. I think that they were throwing the butter at them and just didn't turn out very well for the walnuts, so that they got butter thrown at the walnuts. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, actually. I was just able to butter some of them down. Right now, these guys aren't getting very close, though, just because they're getting frozen. So hopefully they can budge after this. Come on, there you go. Just so that the fume shrooms are helping out a little bit. Huge wave of zombies are coming in. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna wait for them to get closer before we throw our butter barrage out there. Might be worth my while. Just so that they're within range of the fume shrooms is what I'm looking for. So once they get all up to the walnuts and start attacking from there, I mean, they should be able to take care of a couple zombies in the meantime, but right about now. We can do that. Lots of these zombies are getting beat up. All right, well, that worked out pretty well. Some of them will move even closer, and we can just do it again. Boom, everybody buttered. We can do that one more time if we needed it, or I could just do this. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Awesome, awesome stuff. So as you can see, we get ourselves the sunbeam. No, no, sunbeam, not sunbeam. I don't know how I get that mixed up, but hey, the sunbeam. Zombies that eat it drop sun when damaged. That's weird, but I'll, I'll definitely give it a try. Uh, so yeah, let's open up a pinata and see what we get inside of here. We get 100 coins. We get two experience for the fume shroom. We get two for the sunbeam, and that's it. <laughs> All right, so our next objective is going to be unlocking the Magnet Shroom. Ugh, metal, so annoying. Attract buckets and helmets away with Magnet Shroom. Complete Dark Ages, day 15. We'll be doing that in the next episode, but for right now, we can at least move the day, or night seven. Yes, yeah, it says day 15, it's actually night 15. Okay, so night seven. Let's see what we wanna do here. I mean, definitely not this. I mean, it's pretty simple so far. Was there any, yeah, there isn't any specific objective here, but what I can do, no, put that away. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let me just like reset all of this then. And then we can try that out. Maybe I could do potato mine and iceberg, and then we'll just do Snapdragon, just for fun. So the sunbeam seems interesting. Now that I know how it works, I, before I thought it was just like another thing you place down and it gives you sun. That's not the case. <laughs> it has some other specific function. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit so we can get through this as much as we can. I forgot the Grave Buster again. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna go back now though, it's too late. <laughs> there we go. Maybe there's four stages to the Sunstream, I'm not sure. Not that, time just goes by faster than I expected it to. Time sure does fly when you're having fun. There we go. Getting some of that. No, I think there's only three stages. So I could try this now. Yeah, I guess the sooner the better, right? That's so weird. But definitely I think if we put that on a stronger zombie, it'd pay off more. Let's freeze this guy. So if I could give it to this dude, that might be worth my while. Seems like it, he's dropping sun everywhere. It's like, dude. Don't litter. I mean, I guess if there's anything to litter that would be good for the environment, it would be sun itself. So, you know what? I'm not gonna complain about it. He definitely is dropping a lot of sun, though. The problem 
is that he might eat through our stuff here. Freeze him. Okay, this is quickly becoming a problem. I need to slow things down. Just for a little bit at the least. Let's also get something set up here for the Sunbeam. As much as I can, as soon as I can, all that kind of stuff. There we go. So I can grab all that pretty well. So I definitely want two rows of uh, Fume Shroom and then a row of Snapdragon, I feel is a pretty good setup. I do like the Sunbeam though. So I guess this is the equivalent of a bucket head, right? Maybe, maybe not. I guess this might be his own, like his own thing, this knight. Pretty cool. He was dropping lots of sun as well. Let's freeze him. I definitely wanna get the Snapdragon set up. Well, actually, that'll unfreeze him. Yeah, I had to keep that in mind. Because that's something I made a mistake with in the past and just didn't even realize, because I'm silly. Let's get that there. I like the sound effect it makes. Oh, this guy just keeps going. He won't stop. Well, we gotta stop him. So let's do something. Um. I'm in really concerned. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, for right now, just set up more Snapdragons. That is some big sun. You know what? Let's do it. Get him out of here! Wow! Look at all that sun. That was wonderful. Okay. Uh, Snapdragon there. Get something like that there. That should be good. All right, we're making this work. So I think we can do one more set of uh, Snapdragons, and it'll still work out. And in the meantime, I can get this going on. The fume shrooms on the top and the bottom. Should work out pretty well. Okay, lots of action going on. Definitely do something about this guy. Okay, so that should be just about good. I'm gonna speed this up again. That's good to see. Get more of that stuff. So I got plenty of sun at this point. I don't need to continue with this, the uh, sunbeams, but it's just fun to. <laughs> so once again, I don't think freezing this guy really does much for us anymore. I don't know. Uh, but we got him. That's good. So we're almost coming up on the last wave here. Just trying to survive. I guess I'll do it here. Just for fun, just to hold him back a little bit more if not anything else. So of course, like I mean, I guess it's crazy how much reach these guys have. Actually, the uh, fume shrooms—they really go far. Okay, so it's the final wave. Let's get that going on. This doesn't seem much for a final wave, actually. That was this is very underwhelming. Is that seriously it? That was like four zombies. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Anyways, we did it. Almost at 58,000 coins too, so that's awesome. So night seven is completed. We got three more nights left to complete eight, nine, and 10. Let's get started with it. So as you can see, we, we're not gonna be unlocking any new plants for today, but we can just keep moving forward. I don't know if there's anything else to unlock. And we don't really take a look at the uh, overworld while we're doing this, just because we, we wanna keep moving. Day eight, it's weird how I'll jump between day and night just in certain areas. Survive the zombie attack with the given plants. Okay, so what do we have here? Hmm. So, okay, so it just throws us right in. So we only have six plants to choose from. It's gonna be, uh, of course, Sun Shroom, Sun Beam, Fume Shroom, Walnut, Hypno Shroom, and Grey Buster. There we go. So, I don't know if that's worth doing. Uh, I mean, I guess it is. Get some extra sun that way, why not? Yeah, I guess it'll work out fine. Yeah, we don't have puff shrooms. I don't know why I keep assuming that we do. So let's start beating him up. I do need to plant things pretty quickly then. Only really make the most of everything. Uh, Get that there, not bad. Get that one set up like that, and get this guy to eat that. That should be good. Now we gotta do something about you. Now the Hypno Stream will definitely be useful at some point, but definitely for the stronger zombies. For right now, let's save our sun. Maybe use a sunbeam against that guy. Sunbeam. Hmm. Just waiting for a little bit more sun to come in. We'll do that, and then we'll do this, and that should be good. 
Maybe a walnut here? I probably could have put it one one back, one farther back. I, I guess not. I don't know, hard to say. Got one more gravestone we can make the most of over that way. And then we gotta get this gravestone on the top out of here before an imp pops out of it, because that won't be fun. I'm definitely just hypnoing him. I don't want to deal with him. Doesn't sound fun. Ooh, we got some plant food. Plenty more of these things are popping up though, and that's problematic. I'm gonna get this guy to eat this one, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to hypno him. Or at least I don't think it would be feasible to. There we go. Come on, keep it going. Oh no, that's not good. Luckily, they're just sort of normal zombies, but up here is a bit more of a problem. Let's do this. Just go at it. Not too bad, because I don't think the gravestones will pop up on a place that doesn't have, gra like, that already has plants on it, but I might be wrong. I know it wasn't like that in PvZ1. Gravestones could just destroy your plants, but in this one, I'm pretty sure, I, I haven't seen that happen. So we'll have to wait and see. There we go. I might have to hypnotize one of these guys. Let's try this one. Okay, this guy's giving us a ton of sun now. And still somehow I always need more. Let's do that. Oh, that was awful timing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. That's so lame. I was trying to put a wand up there. It just like would not work. Okay, you know what? I don't know why I'm risking so much. Just do that. I mean, I know that I won't get everything I want out of doing that, so maybe it wasn't the best idea because I still need some plant food for later. But I think we'll be okay. I think this will turn out all right. Let's get that there. Maybe get that like that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> we got all the, the fume shrooms we could ever ask for. I guess you could always ask for more, couldn't you? So I don't know what we should use here in terms of uh, plant food. I guess I could just do this here, get that plant food, because this is the last of the zombies, and hypnotize this guy so I just don't have to deal with him. And that should be you know, the majority of them. I got this guy over this way, which it might just be worth my while to wait for him to eat through that and put a hypno shroom there. I think we'll just, yeah, we'll just wait for the Hypnoshroom to do something. Or maybe these uh, Fume Shrooms will get rid of it. I mean, they're working. They got it. Yeah, that, it's fine. But yeah, the Knight Zombie, this guy with the, the, the Knight's helmet, seems to be way tougher than a bucket head. I mean, it's a proper helmet headwear. What do you know? So there we go. We got that done. Two more nights left to go, but inside of this pinata, we got ourselves 100 coins, three more experience, so we're halfway done with the sunbeam, and three experience for the magnet shroom, shroom <laughs> which we're getting in the next episode. Pretty cool. So here is level nine. Let's see how it goes. Second to last level of the day. Survive while evil potions boost zombies. Will do. Evil potions boosting zombies, huh? Seems interesting. Can I see what these potions do at all? I guess it'll just sort of be luck of the draw. I definitely need to do that. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Mostly the same setup as what they gave me last level. I'm just really anticipating these potions. Whoa, and they're making more of them. So there's gonna be a lot of those then. They're gonna be pretty unavoidable. They're popping up everywhere. Can I damage them? Can I damage the potions? I cannot. Whoa, he got bigger. Maybe some of them will make them smaller then. That'd be nice. Don't think that's gonna happen, but I can hope, right? Come on. Start attacking that guy a little bit. I need to earn up whatever sun I can wherever I can. Are these potions growing over time or is that just me? <laughs> Might be the case. Oh boy. Definitely would like to use a hypno shroom right, right about now. Okay. Hmm. I might as well put this on this guy. Set up more of these, get rid of this thing. I can start setting that stuff up. Actually, I can set this up right away. Whoa, he's huge now. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. There we go, we got our setups there. Luckily I get that, so they're gonna get ridiculous really fast. 
I need this guy to eat that sunbeam. Unfortunately, he missed it. Okay, let's do that. Nope, never mind. Didn't have to. Let's freeze this guy. Get this here. Um, might have to do something like this. Come on, yes. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I don't know what to do about most of it. Come on, don't just throw stuff right back at us. It's not appreciated. Is he gonna eat the sunbeam? Of course he's not gonna eat the sunbeam. Why would he do that? That'd be helpful. Come on, get rid of him, get rid of him. He's almost down. He's almost down. It's insane though. I just don't know what you're supposed to do about most of this. Okay, come on. I might start setting up potato mines. Because it's just like, it's like preemptively. It's insane so far. Can I like grave buster these? There's no way I can get rid of them. They are just there. The orange ones make them grow too though. That's insane. There we go. Come on now. Definitely grab that. Oh my gosh. I mean, things are sort of kind of working out now. Definitely because I, you know, I put things down to prepare for it. I mean, I need more potato mines. I'm not more, more fumes, just more everything. Get that sun over there. Definitely don't let that pass us by. So I need to do something about this night on the top. Right now, I might just be putting out puff shrooms. And unfortunately, getting rid of that sunbeam and doing something like that might be better. Let's push this guy back. I'm thinking I have to. I mean, maybe I should have let him eat the sunbeam first. A little too late for that now, of course, so. Just let it go. Do some other stuff. I got plenty of sun now, which is great. And we're able to handle most of this. It's just not all of it. I was about to use a plant power. I don't know if it would have been worth it. Come on, get this guy, put that there. Slow him down a little bit, because this bucket head is ruthless. I need to push him back. I was hoping I didn't have to use my plant power up in that way. But this is becoming really problematic. I'm trying to set up as many of these things as I possibly can, but it just, it just keeps going. It does not stop. Okay, so there's some decent stuff happening here, but I don't know if it's good enough. Let's get that there. I need to slow them down a little bit, and anyway, I can. Cause that guy's huge. We set up more uh, reserves of fume shrooms, I suppose. Might be good as well. Got it, come on. Speed this up a little bit just so that we don't have to wait. There we go. That's the best I can do, I think. I mean, not the best. I can still set the stuff up like that. Freeze this guy. Get another thing. But this guy up here will not stop. So I think that we're gonna use the plant food against him. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't eat any more potions though when he gets knocked back. That would be a problem. Okay, we got it. This guy's going down for good. Oh, we get a scroll. What is this gonna be? Another declaration of the zombies? It looks like it has a Z on it, but could stand for zebra, could be for me. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, by decree of Lord Zomboss, Lees, I got, oh yeah, P, there's a big fancy P. Please leave thou brain on thine stoop. <laughs> User Dave, we have encountered a scroll. I love side scrollers, they're my second favorite kind of game. <laughs> this is not a game, it's a piece of parchment bearing a message. Well, look at that, it's Dark Ages email, neato. I guess it is sort of that, isn't it? All right, well, there we go. So we have one more level left to go and I guess it's going to be a showdown. So let's get to it. Move to our next level and we'll get going. So we're gonna have a zombie onslaught. I'm guessing conveyor belt then, which is fine with me. I like the conveyor belt levels in this game. They're a lot of fun. They're, they're sort of stressful in PvZ1, but here I like it. Survive massive attack in the Dark Ages. Survive without any lawnmowers. The lack of lawnmowers has me concerned, but I think we can do it. So let's see what we get. We'll speed things up just to start it off. And I'll just want to get rid of these gravestones as soon as possible. So I guess I'll do that. <laughs> And having a wanna out like this far wouldn't be too bad of a deal. 
We have a potato mine for whatever zombie shows up next. You know what, definitely for him. We'll do that. Okay, I'll hold on to that potato mine for now. And I hope I didn't put that out too far. The walnuts, that might be the case. Guess we'll find out <laughs> one way or another. Maybe I'll put them out like this. Get that there. Maybe I should've done the potato mine for that guy. A little too late. By the time he got there, it'll be a, it would be a problem. But I can try this, that might be just enough time. Stretching it a little for sure. Let's great bust this. What do we get? Of course we get plant food. Okay, so the potato mine actually worked out for that. That's great. So let's see that guy on the top. Will he actually, okay, he will get hit by the fume shrimp. Okay, well, we're good. I worry too much sometimes. We can start setting that back up there. Okay. So I'm thinking we need this one there and this one here, potato mine. I'm gonna hold on to that one. It's just so much going on, it's insane. This game is just really crazy, constantly. That's what I love about it, but it's also just a lot to take in. I don't think that potato mine worked. I think he destroyed it. But we're slowly getting through this. Come on, just a bit more. Another walnut right there. Okay, so I have another gravestone here I can bust and it'll give me another plant food, which I'm actually maxed out on plant food. So I can do this and get two plant food for it. Push this guy back. Okay, um, maybe do that here and then grab that one and we're good. Look at that. That was actually pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'll get that set up over there. Even though I really need some stuff a little bit everywhere. So if this guy eats this walnut, which I don't know if he will, actually. Hmm. I might do this, so I can knock them back and actually make some room for some other stuff, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Hold on to the Gray Buster. This guy's coming up quick. I need to slow him down one way or another. We'll do that, that, that actually broke, so that's good. Um, nah, -uh, not happening, push him back. We're still doing pretty good on plant food, but we got a lot more left to go. Let's try this out and then put that, th that was perfect timing. I'm gonna put a potato mine there preemptively just to sort of see how that goes. I need one more fume shroom to make everything nice and balanced. Well, balanced I suppose, but not perfect. I mean, I actually have a balanced amount of fume shrooms right now. They're just not set up in the right spot. There we go. Awesome. Got another thing there. So, another uh, plant food on that one gravestone. Oh my, this is getting messy. Let's do that. <laughs> that actually might have been the worst spot to put it, but it's where I put it. Gotta work with it now. Also, when did I, oh, did they push back the walnuts or was that me? No, that had to be them. They, I guess they can push plants back. I didn't know they could do that. I know that they could throw stuff back when they're in tornado. I didn't realize they were pushing plants back though. Wow, how many times does that happen? I didn't even notice. Probably a lot. Okay, huge wave of zombies coming in. We're sort of holding our own pretty well. I mean, we have a full set of plant food and everything. So let's have all the puff shrooms attack, because why not? Um. Actually, try that again. Not too bad, actually. Um, oh, there we go, he's gone. Let's do this, fume stream attack! See ya, buddy. He got knocked way far back. Awesome, how much time unleash the Dark Ages Gargantuar, and that is 10 night levels done here in the Dark Ages, and we get a pinata to finish it off. How awesome is that? So with this one, we get 100 coins, Three Magnet Shroom Experience for six out of 10. Four Sun Shroom Experience for eight out of 10. And that's it. So no Mushroom Level Ups yet. Sort of a pain, but that's fine with me. Let us just continue onward. So of course it's gonna give us a new key here. I'm not too worried about that. Instead, I just wanna talk about how awesome Dark Ages was. What's interesting about this world, 
And I guess because this was actually like a previously released world, like it was actually released much earlier in the game's life cycle than some of the other worlds we've played, only 20 levels in it. So we'll be completing it next episode. How crazy is that? That's gonna be super quick. So yeah, lots of fun so far, but lots more challenging levels ahead, I'm sure. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Dark Zebra so that you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.